Hi, I'm Noah. My wife and I just had twins. And how did you spend your summer vacation? I'll get back to telling the birth story soon, relatively soon, but today I'd like to talk about uh, what's it like to be a father. What's it like being a father? It's like having a terrible pet. I mean, imagine you walk into a pet store, and you see these adorable little things, and you say, Oh, I want some of those. Anything I should know about them? Uh, yeah. Well, let's see. They sleep 16 hours a day, and they shriek at the top of their lungs, and they spit up a lot. Oh. Okay. Are, are, are they house trained? Oh, no, 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 no. You'll need to change their diaper as much as 12 times a day. Oh. Do they do any tricks? Well, if you... Put them on your chest when you don't have a shirt on, they'll grab a fistful of your chest hair and never let go. Yeah, I think I'm going to get a ferret. What's it like being a father? It's like having a long white beard. I, I, I mean, only when you're around hipsters. See, I, I have never been hip, but until recently, when I saw young hip people, I, I at least thought that I was in their demographic. I mean, I'm still technically in the 18 to 34 bracket, but now there's this clear dividing line between us. Even, even if I don't have the babies with me, uh, if I'm at some place frequented by hipsters, and I don't mean like a club or anything, I'm talking about like, you know, pet smart. Um, they can just smell parent on me, which makes me hundreds of years old in their eyes. And if they ever see the babies, they just look at them with this confused expression. Hipsters don't understand babies because they cannot be appreciated ironically. What's it like being a father? It's like being the guy in Memento, or more accurately, Dana Carvey in Blank Slate, because you wake up every day with this pleasant, delusional amnesia, thinking, maybe today the babies will let me sleep in a little bit. What's it like being a father? It's like being Christina Hendricks's brother, because they're right there. They're so glorious, but they're not for you. What's it like being a father? It's like having a super fast pass at Disneyland. I mean, is anyone watching the show called The Great Food Truck Race on Food Network? It's quite a cool show about high-end food trucks, and, and two of them were setting up a shop a few miles down the road from us the other day. And so when we got there, with the babies and the wraps that we used to wear them, uh, the line was several blocks long, but one family thought the twins were so cute that they let us cut in front of them and skip the entire line. So the twins saved us several hours of waiting, and we repay them by eating food that will probably kill us and leave them as orphans before they turn six. What's it like being a father? It's like having a job, but way better. I mean, people always say how hard parenting is, and, and, and yeah, it, it is hard, but you know, it's way better than like working in an office. I mean, yes, I, I don't get much sleep, though I, I get a lot more than Amanda does since she's the one who has to wake up and feed them at 4 a.m. Thanks, biology. Um, but I think that I might be less tired now than I was when I had to wake up every morning and go pretend to work for an insurance company for nine hours. Plus, the work is much more fun to snuggle. What's it like being a father? It's like being on a reality show where the producers throw a shocking twist at the contestants in every episode. Like, uh, last night, you thought you finally figured out how to make the babies go to sleep at night. Well, tonight, everything changes. And on the subject of putting them to bed, it, it's like being the last one alive in a horror movie. Because you think you've finally gotten them down, you think it's all over, and then one eye opens. What's it like being a father? It's like awesome. Bye.